Okay, now that you have a much better understanding of the main features of the Team Beachbody Compensation Program, let's talk about some simple strategies you should be aware of to help you get the very most out of your income potential from the Team Cycle Bonus. It's important to realize that every business is different and it would be impossible to share just one strategy that would work for everyone's situation. So I'm gonna cover some simple concepts here to help you understand how to better think strategically about volume and the Team Cycle Bonus but I would encourage you to work directly with your sponsoring coach or an upline leader on your team to develop a strategy that is tailored to your specific business situation. We're gonna cover three things here. First, multiple coach business centers. Second, working with a spouse or partner. And third, coach placement. Let's look at what each of these are and then we're gonna go through some examples to illustrate how they can be used strategically in the team cycle bonus. First, let's talk about multiple coach business centers. When your business reaches the rank of Two Star Diamond, you have the option to sponsor yourself and place it in your downline organization. We call it opening a second business center. And with that additional business center, you now have the potential to earn income from two accounts in your organization. And when your second business center reaches the rank of Two Star, you can open up a third business center. In fact, you can open up up to 25 of these additional business centers as each one reaches Two Star Diamond. It really is an incredible feature of our compensation program. Now, let's talk about working with a spouse or partner in your business. We often find that when one person in a household starts to coach, that their spouse or partner also wants to start their own coaching business as well. In this situation, it's important to remember that each person is responsible for their own coaching account and the success of their own business, but you can absolutely work together on the same team. And working together can definitely have its benefits. It's more fun. You'll be able to support each other in the business. And it also gives you the potential to have greater overall income for your household, as both of you are working to help people and support a team of coaches. All right, finally, let's talk about coach placement. Placement refers to where you place the coaches you enroll in your business's organizational structure. You remember the whole left leg, right leg thing. Now, by default, your placement setting in your coach office is set to automatic placement and any coach you enroll is automatically placed on the outside leg with the least amount of volume. You can change this in the coach office from automatic to what is called preferred placement, which allows you to specify exactly where you want your new coaches to be placed in your organization when they enroll with you. As your business grows, it is important to pay attention to where your new coaches are being placed. Why is that? Well, remember how the team cycle bonus works and how your bonuses are determined by the amount of volume on each leg? With each new coach joining your team, their activity to help people is going to produce volume, and making sure that volume is in the right spot in your organization can increase how many cycle bonuses you earn. Now to be clear, where you place your coaches in your organization doesn't change your relationship to them as their personal sponsor. You're still the one that will mentor and support them on their way to becoming fully independent, successful coaches. The placement is just where the volume their activities produce each week will be counted in the calculation of your team cycle bonus. All right, I know that can get a little complex. So let's look at a few examples to illustrate how these three things could be used by a coach to help you understand them better. We'll start simple. Here's Jane. She's been a Team Beachbody coach for about a year. During that time, she has helped several coaches get started, but two of them have really started to take off and both of them are on her left leg. As a result, the left leg of her business has a lot more volume than her right leg. To increase her income from the Team Cycle Bonus, she will want to make sure her newly enrolled coaches are being placed on her right leg to help increase the volume there. Now, the good news is, this is how placement on each coach's account is set to operate by default. The computer sees which leg has less volume and places it there. So if this is where you're at, you are all set. All right, let's build on that example and take it up a level. Let's say that one of those coaches who has really started to take off is Jane's husband, Bill who after a few months into her coaching business saw what she was doing and decided to be a coach as well. So, Bill is building his business on Jane's left leg and Jane is placing her new coaches on her right leg to build up the volume there. With time, Jane finds and mentors three new coaches on her right leg who become very successful. So successful in fact that her right leg has actually grown to have more volume than what is on her left leg. If Jane's placement is set to automatic, the computer will see that her left leg is now her lower volume leg and automatically place coaches on the outside of that leg. 
But let's look at this a little closer and see if we can see a way for Jane to increase her household income by using preferred placement. Bill's weak volume leg is his right leg, and he is placing his new coaches there to increase his team cycle bonus. If Jane sets her preferred placement to be Bill's right leg, Jane's new coaches will also be placed there. This will allow Jane to help Bill increase his team cycle bonuses more quickly. Plus, since her new coaches are still going on her left leg, it is increasing her volume on that leg at the same time, which increases her team cycle bonuses as a result. In other words, she is increasing her overall household income since both her and her husband are benefiting from the volume being created by the activity of the new coaches she's placing on Bill's right leg. This same strategy could be applied when you are trying to decide where to place an additional business center. If you map out where each business center in your household is in your business organization, and you look at the weekly amount of team volume on each leg of these business centers, you'll be able to use preferred placement to put your newly enrolling coaches in places where the volume they'll create from their activity can have the biggest impact on your household income. Now, as you begin to grasp the concepts behind these examples, you're gonna be in a great position to make strategic decisions to help you maximize your income potential with our Team Cycle Bonus. The purpose of this video was to expose you to some of these ideas and help give you some examples to reinforce those ideas. Every situation is unique, but if you understand how it works, you'll be better able to look at your situation when the time comes and make the decisions and decide what is best for you. Thank you very much.